Greetings everyone and welcome back. This is Marco and today I'm gonna show you a little trick you can perform with Canon FD lenses and adapters to basically fake having a declicked aperture. I don't really know why people are not talking about this, this trick. I think I've only read one person, one other person mention it so far. And I've been using it for, well, years now, since the first time I used the Canon FD lens. So here we go. For this example, I will use the FD 50mm 1.8, but you can use any Canon FD lens for as long as it's adapted to a mirrorless or a digital camera in general, because it doesn't work with the lens itself. It, you do need the adapter. And if you have ever used a Canon FD adapter, you know that it has this ring, open lock, open close, whatever, every different brand has a way to label this ring, but in mine is open lock. And all it does is engaging this lever here to, well, engage the iris system. As simple as that. And many times I've had people reaching out saying, ah, oh, my adapter doesn't work, my lens doesn't work, because they forget to turn the ring or they mount the lens with the adapter on lock. And if you do that, let's try it now, it doesn't engage the, the lever properly. So don't do it. Basically, if you leave the adapter on open and you try changing the aperture, it doesn't move, the iris does not move, but when locked down, then the aperture works perfectly, okay? Now, what most people do not realize is that you can control the aperture with this ring. Let's say we set the aperture to f22, close down all the way, okay? The adapter is unlocked, the aperture works as in and it is on f22 at f22 but if i move the adapter to open ta -da, the aperture blades smoothly open as if it was declicked and that that's the the trick it's all there there's one more interesting thing if you set the aperture, let's say to f8. Now, when it's locked, it only locks to f8. So you can pull the aperture between 1.8 and f8. And you can do this at every aperture, but the smaller the interval, the smaller the uh, range on the ring to control the aperture. For example, now it's set at f2.8, so I turn and there we go. It's just that little, that little movement there. But you know, it it's interesting because you can set the aperture and swap and sweep between apertures very smoothly. All right, that's the trick. It's as simple as that. Let me know in the comments if you have ever used this trick or if you didn't ever realize you could do this. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I will see you in the next video with a new review. Bye.